When you do basic addition, you're basically adding units of something. So if we look at this problem in front of us, 3 plus 5, we can rewrite it or think of it in terms of units. Let's say we have three pumpkins, and we go to a pumpkin patch and we get five more pumpkins. So we are adding five pumpkins to the three pumpkins that we already have. And the question is, what is that equal to? Well, if we count on all our pumpkins here, we should have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of them. So we have eight total. So in other words, uh, three plus five is eight. Uh, let's walk through another example here. We have uh, two plus two. Well, let's uh, break it down into units. Let's say we have two dollars in our wallet. Two ones right there, and uh, we. Uh, get two dollars from somebody else or a friend gives us two dollars so now we have one two three four dollars in our wallet if we uh, break it down into units that way so two plus two is four uh, another example here this is a little more complicated and if you understand this one you should have the concept down uh, let's say we have uh, three hats our neighbor has five hats and our other neighbor has eight hats how many hats do we have total? Well, okay, we have 3 plus 5 plus 8. Well, 3 plus 5 is 8, and 8 plus 8 is 16. So we have uh, 16 hats total. Now, another way to do this, if uh, you don't like the hat quantity, uh, we can use chalk marks or pencil marks, where we just write the numbers down in uh, like chalk or pencil marks, and then we simply take them and add them together. So we have all these numbers here in chalk, and we add three, and then we go ahead and we add five to our total, and if we count all that out, then it gives us a total of uh, 16. So that is the alternative way of uh, setting up uh, basic addition, but uh, if you're having any problems with it, just think of it in terms of uh, uh, adding uh, units together, and it should uh, simplify that for you. Thank you for watching this video.